You can't stop doing it. You don't want me to tease you about it. You're on purpose now. <laughs> You're watching Metal Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. I'm Rob with Lesh9. Gary with Lesh9. Jeff, not from Lesh9. Matt Gibbons, not either. But sometimes I wish I was. Yes. You wish you were with Lesh9? Or had Lesh9. You don't want Lesh9. It's bad. It sounds terrible. It's horrible. It is a horrible thing. It is so, Corn is working on a new album. And guess who's back? Brian Head Welch. Yes. And you're also co collaborating with the band Lima Beans, and the project is called Succotash. Succotash. Head's <laughs> so, hey. looking for some cashish. <laughs> cashish. Cashish. <laughs> I want to smoke some cashish. Did you hear that uh, Path of Totality, their last release? I did not. Where, you know, a lot of Skrillex and stuff like that thrown in there. And, yeah. I'll it, be honest. It was sonically dynamic. You I, enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, yeah. I thought it was pretty yeah. crazy. I thought it was good. I listened to it a whole lot, actually. Um, all right. And not really being a Korn fan, pretty much at all. Wow. And, and now the thing is, what people are telling me who are Korn fans, like, that is not the Corn album. I totally get it. You know, I, I see they they went out on a limb to try something different with their last release. I have no clue what this new stuff is supposed to be like. Maybe they're trying to revert back to their original formula. It's sick. You I heard, heard some of the new sick, stuff, dude. What was I it like? I loved it raw. It really it was brutal, dude. I heard it. Yeah, it was raw. Really? Way raw. Yeah. Cool. I Did like you guys it. hear any of it or what? No. No. I, gotta be, I gotta be honest. I, mean, sick, I gotta be honest. I don't think I've listened to any corn in like 15 years. So. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat. I kind of turned you on to them, didn't I? You did. I saw, I was and I saw them open up for Ozzy. Yeah. And they were amazing. Right. Like, oh, yeah. they, were one of the, they were one of the best opening acts I've ever seen. Yeah, be honest. When Corn came they on the scene, scary. I was like 20. So I was yeah. like susceptible to that kind of stuff. He's like, hey, old man, check this band out. Yes. And like, Dude, when they rode they out on their bicycles, their Puerto Rican bicycles with the rod animal, yeah. That was the shit, man. And they had rims all over. I liked it. Yeah. I, I grew out quick, though. I mean, it was like cool when it was there. Like Limp Biscuit, all that timer, and they ruled it, but it went fast. Yeah, I never got into Limp Biscuit or Deftones or any of that stuff. Nah. But, uh, you didn't like Deftones? Nah. Huh? I think I did like three or four corn albums, and then I was kind of. Yeah, like, that was, like Follow the Leader was kind of my. Yeah, that was my last one. Yeah, right, 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 right. If you want to listen to something sonically different, check out Path of Totality. I, I think I'll so. Check it out. Yeah, check it out. Give it. Get, and, and the thing is, you you gotta listen to the whole song because there, there's a lot of elements in there, um, and especially with working them, working with some of these guys. Um, I forget what they're calling it off the top of my head now, like Skrillex, and there's a couple other musicians. Dubstep. That, dubstep. Yeah, Genre. exactly. Oh. So there's a lot of dubstep thrown in there. Interesting. And it just kind of you're like it's it's not it's heavy. It's not metal. There's some melody. There's some wicked crazy sonic shit going on. Yeah. So I have nothing negative to say about them. I right. just like I listened to four albums and then it was like I just stopped listening. There's a lot of bands I, where I just don't listen to. Well, here's the longer. thing. I tend to like unfairly hate on Corn less hate. for themselves and more for what they beget. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like the whole... Because, I mean, they're, they're the band a lot of people credit with at the beginning of the whole new metal era. Right. And let's but most of those bands are beyond crap, let's be honest. They're not worthy of my shit or anyone's shit. They ruined metal for a long time. Those are fighting words. So, <laughs> a lot of that blame falls on corn. And uh, it's unfair, yes, sorry, but uh, it is what it is. So I, I think a lot of my harsh feelings I have towards them are actually towards the new metal movement in general, and I kind of unfairly direct them at Corn. So I'm admitting my so my Korn, Korn, Korn's the scapegoat them? basically. Yes. Do you want to apologize to them? Though? I want to apologize to Corn because I feel like I give you an unfair shake. And I want to apologize. This. I listened to the first four albums, and I'm not sure where I you know wandered off to. But yeah. same with Kalma. Like I love Kalma, but yeah. like I stopped listening to them. Not any particular reason, just because right. there's a, a hundred million groups. Yeah. Right. And you're like, okay, well then yeah. what else is there? Variety yeah. is the spice of life. Yeah. What else is there? Corn is not good at variety. Let's be honest. Their music is very simplistic. I don't know. I haven't no, heard Path of, of, Path of Totality is completely different. I will I will listen to it and see what I think. And and that, their music is very simple, so there's not much right. places to go. So it's like, I always like the way the bass sounded. It's, uh, well, it sounded like... Tim 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 I like it because you just... It's not often you can hear bass, though. In metal. No. Yeah, so that's why I like it. How much do you need to? 
Because I like it. I like to feel bass. Yeah. Not, not necessarily yeah. hear it, but feel it. I'm a bass player, so I like people to hear my bass. But... So anything else on Corn? Um, I wish him... Best of what was, luck. What was, yeah. it, what, was it, yeah, what was that Neil Jameson said? Best yeah. of luck in your future endeavors and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Best of luck in your you future know, endeavors. I, mean, I wish you the best of luck. They've done what they've done for this long and managed to maintain... They never went They never went down where they were like... They never sold out. No, it happened. <laughs> but they never <laughs> lost... They, they still play like major venues. Yes, yes they did. They never went down to like having to play the truck or like... Or Mojo 13. That's <laughs> yeah, what I was to say. Like, right. They maintain like you, a shit steam. I mean, like, guys, well, Limp Bizkit just played the TLA the other day. Right, nice. Corn still plays, like, yeah. like big Tower, places. Tower. Yeah. That noise, kid. I don't think they even play the truck. They play bigger places than that. Yeah, they could play. Bigger play. than the Tower, right? I think they yeah. play bigger than the Tower. Do you think they could fill I think the, they play uh, Camden. Yeah, they could play Camden. Right. I don't know if they could play, um, what do you call it? First Union, though. I don't know. They might be able to. They're still pretty popular. JFK. <laughs> I don't know. Union, I just want to say I don't consider Corn Disturbed New Metal or Godsmack well, yeah. at all. I think they're all awesome. New Metal sucks. Chelsea Grimm. Fucking. Well, that's not new. That's like 20 years past when New Metal started. Like, well, so so turning turning metal, 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 dead. I'm saying, I'm dead. saying New Metal spelled in you metal. Like that's yeah. a whole subgenre. Yeah, but. Music. but but we go from like Metallica, okay, to like, I mean, Corn. Corn started like ages. rapping a little bit, you know. I mean, they saw a little bit different kind of music. Limp Bizkit, they all were in that time. Right, that's what they consider new metal. Yeah, that's what they that's, what, that's what's labeled new metal. metal. Yeah. Oh, they do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's like an established. I, know, uh, I didn't make that term up. That's oh, they do. Okay, yeah. all right. I thought you. Had the I consider new metal like different. Because I don't even listen. You might be thinking of new metal, NEW metal, like the new kind like, of Well, I listen to like Chelsea right? Grimm and all that new, like, death That's more metal. like Hot Topic metal. Yeah, it's Rings of Saturn. They call it like Death Chords. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That's stuff what I'm like that. Yeah. yeah, that's the point. Don't mess with that. I can't say that shit. <laughs> you like them? Yeah, I do like them. Oh. That's Ask me out, Yeah, that's not my thing. Nah, that's what I'm talking about. I don't want to ask Alexander. When I think of new metal, that's what I'm talking about. Would you rather tell Alexander? I what the fucking she's gonna do? Nice. Disturbed what if she's a cool? Cool. Alexander, you never know. Yeah. Who knows? And I like what I see on Facebook, all the stuff people write about like Fuck man. Who's one people band that everyone hates? Fuck. Nah, nah, nah. Like no, that. everyone hates Creed. man. Nickelback. Nah, everyone everybody Probably always Daniel's band. Nah, everyone yeah. always Pretty hates awesome. fucking um Um Come on. Is it a band name? Slipknot. Slipknot. Yeah. yeah. Everyone always hates Slipknot. For what? Because what? They got nine guys in their fucking band and they do things that no one else does? Why? Why what? do you hate Slipknot? Mushroom Head does stuff. Look like at Corey. Thing. Corey's a great singer. Did you ever hear Corey sing on a solo tour? Dude, Tony he's Sauer. fucking... No. Dude, type in Corey... What is his last Taylor. name? Taylor. Taylor. Taylor yeah. Type in Corey Taylor um, solo... Dude, he goes out on acoustic tours by himself, and it's fucking incredible. I'm a little partial to Corey Feldman. Corey Feldman. Yeah, I like him. The Corey. I like, I like really his ex-wife, too. Yeah. Pretty hot. yeah, maybe yeah. she tastes good. We interviewed him. Yeah. We didn't taste her. Yeah. Unfortunately. Taste Unfortunately. Yeah, if that didn't yeah. happen, but it would have been... You probably, you could have asked. Maybe. Yeah. maybe. If I could just lick her. <laughs> what if I actually let me lick them? I'm going to try and do that in the next time. Or, no, the, no, the litmus <laughs> test. The one you did in signs. You just I've got girls to kiss my cheek, pet my head. It turns what if I can let the them pet your head if it's turned over really well. Yeah, pet my head, huh? Yeah. I've caught her with them. Let them kiss me. But I haven't done that. Should be, can I just lick you real quick and let them lick me? <laughs> well, if you lick something and you get a fucking pimple on your tongue, I think you got a problem. So. <laughs> Right, let's okay. go on now. That's what, we, so that's what we have on corn. <laughs> corn, dude. Yeah, we got a corn on our corn. I got a corn on my tongue. <laughs> Once again, I apologize, corn. <laughs> Do more heroin. <laughs> Who gets heroin? That John Davis. He does? Yeah. 